girl Q coming back with another victory and I got my girls with me today. I got my boo Z and my girl Avery Joanna. Hey y'all. Make sure you go like, comment, subscribe, and follow Avery Joanna. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up y'all. Give it a thumbs up. Don't go no further without giving this video a thumbs up. wait guys one second right before we get in the video i want to come to you guys and let you know how important this topic is how serious this topic is to me um and to a lot of other people out there in the world a lot of trans women trans men um i recently just got connected with my sister not blood related but a sister through a woman that i consider my mom um so i when i noticed that she was 14. I really thought that was really interesting because I've never known someone that young. Um, not really young because, you know, she's a teenager, but I've never met a child that, you know, is so intelligent at, as um, this young lady I've met. And I'm just really amazed and I really want to share her story to the world and hope that it can help a lot of other parents and a lot of other children feel. A lot of other parents and children and, you know, adults feel comfortable in their skin because there are a lot of people that's hiding who they want to be because of how society may judge them. And I kind of really did get this idea. Um, it's crazy because the same day I met my sister, I seen The Live with Murder from P-Valley. If you don't know that show, <clears throat> go watch it. Um, it's really informative. Um, and really interesting. So I seen his live and he has a whole girlfriend. Um, and he's playing this role to be a gay male in today's society is really amazing to me because you know, straight men, you know how they feel about that. So I really thought that that was really dope of him to do. Um, because he is helping a lot of other people be free and be comfortable in who they want to be and they don't have to hide it he's playing a role where he's hiding it he's a rapper but he is coming to a point where he's not about to give a give a you know fuck what nobody thinks or how they feels because he love who he love and it's kids out here that's having that desire i was once a child and i was nine years old and i was interacting with the female you know, sexually. So I'm not promoting that, but I'm just saying, listen to your kids, talk to your kids, understand your kids, see what your kids want. Don't just shut it down. Don't just say it's a phase. Don't just, you know, support your kids because at the end of the day, you can't see how they feel inside and how they feel inside is not going to change because you said this is how it's supposed to be or how it's not supposed to be. Just give your child that chance to be dumb and be free in today's world. <clears throat> so guys, I'm gonna I'm not gonna hold you up anymore. Um, we are going to get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys get the message. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, if you're not already a victory, make sure you go subscribe and make sure you go check out my channel called Keep <laughs> My Bad. That's my TikTok. But my channel called Lady Q. Y'all already know the vibes. Stay up and stay blessed. We have my boo Z with us today. And we're going to vibe out and get to know Z. So we're going to get right into it. You ready? Yeah. All right. right. So the victories want to know who is Z? Um, yes, I want to know who's Z. Well, Z is... The person I've always wanted to be growing up and the person that I built for a very long time and I've spent a lot of time you know building her up from the ground up and I'm very happy with how you know I worked on her you know and how far she's come so far and 
Yeah, that's it. How old were you when you decided, I need to leave with the team? Well, the first time I ever, like, changed my pronouns was, like, in the fifth grade when I was, like, I think 11 oh. or whatever. And that was it. So tell me one thing. What you like about Z? One thing I like about Z is, um, I like everything about Z. There's nothing not to like. So I see that you speak in like third person as if like, you know, Z is another person. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Z is you, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you should start speaking as Z is you and life into your words instead of speaking it as just like another person. So that you could feel more confident in Z and versus like, well, Z makes me feel this way. So no, it's I make myself feel this way yeah. so that you can make yourself feel good. So speaking terms of yourself versus mm -hmm. a third person so you can gain more confidence in yourself so i think that's a little advice i want to give you mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense yep <laughs> so the victories want to know who is z um yes i would love to know who's z well z is the person i've always wanted to be growing up and the person that i built for a very long time and I've spent a lot of time, you know, building her up from the ground up. And I'm very happy with how, you know, I worked on her, you know, and how far she's come so far. And yeah, that's it. How old were you when you decided I need to leave with the team? Well, the first time I ever like changed my pronouns was like in the fifth grade when I was like, I think 11 oh. or whatever. And that was it. So tell me one thing, what you like about Z? One thing I like about Z is, um, I like everything about Z. There's nothing not to like. So I see that you speak in like third person as if like, you know, Z is another person. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Z is you, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you should start speaking as Z is you and life into your words instead of speaking as just like another person. So that you could feel more confident in Z and versus like, well, Z makes me feel this way. So no, it's I make myself feel this way yeah. so that you can make yourself feel good. So speaking terms of yourself versus mm -hmm. a third person so you can gain more confidence in yourself so i think that's a little advice i want to give you mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense yep question <laughs> is how do you identify yourself um a bad bitch period sorry right. <laughs> <laughs> like period <laughs> okay Shinda, would you date um any gender, a gender doesn't matter to me because love is love, right? Right, and um, I go, I did based off of personality. Personality, right? Mm -hmm. And how a person treats you. Nowadays, it just seems like everybody just be going for looks and this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. But the people who be having looks, it seems like they just don't last in relationships. It's more of what somebody can, how a person makes you feel, how a person loves you, how a person can look past all your flaws and this, that, and the third. So. So, in regards to that, do you date other people that have the same preference? What do you mean, like, who don't care for gender? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dope. And you feel like it's harder to date um, with your, with being transgender, you think it's harder to date versus not being transgender? Which I'm pretty sure you wouldn't know too much, but... Um... Like, finding somebody who's, like, that you can connect with and, like, you for you. If you find that kind of hard. I know you're only 14, but you yeah. know, you seem very smart and intelligent. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure like, you know what you want, you know? Mm -hmm. So from whoever you've been talking to, has it seemed like it's been hard to date or not even date, just connect with a good friend or somebody who can understand you? Yeah, yeah. a lot more often than I want it to be, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's no stopping it for real. Cause it's not, it's not just me. I'm not alone. You have friends though that are transgender as well? That's mm -hmm. good. That's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Okay, so where are you from? 
I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I was born and raised here. <clears throat> Atlanta, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. You like living here? Not really. No. Where would you want to go to if you could? Um, any big city. Right. Like LA? I, yeah, like LA. I just. I like a city that never sleeps and everything is close around so I can just leave my apartment and go walk to a restaurant or something. For right. Lunch. New York right. got that too now. Right. You've been yeah. in New York? No. I've been to New York once, and that was when I got home. Welcome to New York. <laughs> so, how was it in school? Like, what's the energy in school that you get? Mixed. Mixed? Mm hmm So, do some of them give you, like, bad energy where they be, like, looking at you crazy because of the way your personality is? Yeah, 100%. Because middle schoolers are weird. Mm. Especially nowadays, <clears throat> middle schoolers are so weird and immature and it's like they go out of their way to just make put somebody else down right yeah yeah i can only imagine so how do you handle that <clears throat> give them the energy back Ooh, what kind of energy you give them back um normally whenever somebody comes up to me and asks me like this is like one of the most common questions i get every time all the all the time and it's which bathroom do you use? And I'm like, which bathroom do you use? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, <laughs> I was so shit. Mm. Whatever bathroom you see me in, that's like, the bathroom. They I'm have, in. Yeah. Right. All these kids is crazy for real. But I yeah. was just saying that now the way the world is that kids will adapt to what's going Literally. on more. And you, you really okay? Yeah. All right. Instead of like being bullied and picked on because it's just like being a lesbian or being gay or being transgender is starting to just be so really know you know now that to the point where it's just like y'all still be judging or picking on people because of what they want to be it's just right. weird like you said it's innovation get with it or get lost yeah. this is some people fear change and they're not ready mm -hmm. yeah and that's good that you know who you are like so how is your social life do you have a lot of friends a few a, a few yeah a few that I like to keep by my side, so. Okay, what about hanging out wise? Y'all like to hang out with friends? Y'all go places? Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. So you got a good social life. What's some mm -hmm. stuff you do with your friends? Like, main We stuff? usually go to the mall, go downtown. Sometimes we just go walking to the park. Uh, not really. Simple stuff, yeah. Yeah, nothing too special. Just stuff to get out the house every now and then. Mm -hmm. So how does that make you feel, become a young lady that you are? Um, powerful. Powerful? What makes you feel powerful? Because not everybody, I mean, not everybody has the strength to actually transition. Um, because most people that don't transition and who don't come out end up internalizing, you know, who they are and start hating people because they're envious. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, because of their situation, they can't come out and be happy. Right. So they take out other people's happiness away. That's so true. But not me, though. Mm, I know that's right. <laughs> so, you said transitioning. I know you're 14. Are you thinking about transitioning? Fully. Fully. My bottom surgery? Yeah, mm -hmm. like every day. Adam's apple. I got a homegirl who got her. She transitioned too, and she got her Adam's apple removed. She's talking about getting bottom surgery, but I just know that it's kind of like a scary process. Mm -hmm. It is like a lot to it and it's tedious and if it goes wrong like it can really go wrong yeah yeah 100 percent um i feel like well for the item stuff apart i'm gonna keep that because i don't really care yeah like that mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal what about yeah. top surgery top surgery it depends on how hormones work out right okay. and for bottom surgery I don't want to get bottom surgery because i feel like bottom surgery is for people who have bottom dysmor dysphoria so mm -hmm. if you feel like that's not something that should if you feel like that's something that shouldn't be there then you have you know the full right to get bottom surgery but personally i don't i don't care for my male attributes i care for who who the person i want to become okay mm -hmm. that's what's up that's that understandable is, that's, that's that's lit. and it's crazy guys she is 14 and she knows what she wants it's people that's 30, 40 years right. old. You that don't even if know you would have known me, you was like 20, 21, I would I would took I would not have questioned you at all. Like, like, it's like you carry yourself. It's because you're a Capricorn like me. Because we should. But other than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting next to two Capricorns in the building. Because like, we yo. goats. 
<laughs> so you know the people want to know where do you see yourself in five years in five years i picture myself um most definitely on hormones because in five years i'll be over 18 i'll be 19 and turning 20 and it's good to be a certain age to get like the key shot um no okay just my parents just don't want me to and you need, if you're a minor, like under the age of 18, you can't get it on your own. So they're making me wait till 18. But, um, yeah, in five years, I see myself on hormones and I see myself, I don't know, at peak. At my happiest, by okay. myself. Okay. You say by are you not looking for no one? No, it's just that when I, when I say by myself, I don't really plan on living with anybody once I move out. Okay. And if it, if anybody, and then I'm gonna live with my stepsister. Okay. Because okay. okay. she's the only person in my age that has truly, you know, put most effort into accepting me. You know, that okay. like she's a, a real big support. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to you. Mm -hmm. That's good to have somebody that close. Oh, okay. oh, oh, you look good in it too. Okay, so the fact that your parents is not really supportive with the situation with you, do you think it's fair for them to let you wait till this eight, till you're eighteen to try to actually transition? Um, no, not at all. Um, because for number one, I feel like I know my brain and I know my body more than you do. Even if you are a parent, it's. If I'm telling you that I feel some type of way because my mind is colliding with my body and not in a positive way, then I feel like you should, you know, believe and trust me. If I if I tell you that I think I got a cut on my back, you would turn you would turn me around and look, right? Right. You wouldn't mm -hmm. tell me, oh, well, we can wait a few days, and if there's a scar there, then yeah, we can. Then we'll definitely. check it out. Yeah. Right. right. That's what you mean. And I feel like not a lot of people out there can wait till they're 18. That's exactly how trans people end up killing themselves because, you know, and then when they do kill themselves, they usually say, oh, well, it's because she was, she regretted her bottom surgery. Well, no, not because she regretted her bottom surgery. It's because it wasn't a decision that she was, she wanted, truly wanted to make. Mm. Um, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's actually because you didn't accept her like she asked you to. Right. Right. Have y'all, have you ever like tried to sit down with your parents and like explain, like had like a sit down, like kind of like what we're doing, like a mm -hmm. sit down like that? Uh, a thousand times. And they always say the same things. Oh, well, we can always try when you're 18, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's because of your phone and I feel like it's because of TikTok. Um, what? Right, that's what I'm saying. What? TikTok <laughs> just came out not so many years ago. That's what I'm saying. Like, when I was in fifth grade, I barely had a phone. My phone was not on. I was watching people make knives. I wasn't watching anybody transition. And when I did come out of trans or anything, I did. that's when I started watching people transition. So. Oh, my God. That, that is so crazy. That's just how, you know, our parents think it's because of social media and what we see. And we just want to copy what we see online. It's like, no, this is me. And it, the people online might be copying me. Yeah. And I don't copy them. So. I get it, like, and it's hard when you're young and you just, like, can't just get up and go and just be like, okay, I just want to leave, I gotta stay in the situation, I gotta stay in this house, I gotta stay with these parents, they're not letting me be myself, so, do you have any family members other than your sister that's talking about who do make you comfortable? Um, my cousin, Cache, okay. she's the, like, only other trans person in my family that I know about. For real? Mm -hmm. And how does your family treat her? They treat her um, nice when it comes to her transition. They, um, well, they still call her by her old name, her dead name, mm -hmm. and they still call her by he and pronouns. It's like they really truly don't recognize her transition, but instead just see her as like, the person she once was. Right. Was. So when that's another question I wanted to ask too. So how does that make you feel when people still call you he or by your original name? Um I guess depending on who it is, I really don't care. It's not like I don't want to care, it's just like 
you giving them that opportunity to kind of get with it? Well, no, not really. It's like more of, I can't make them care. I can't make them care. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like my dad, when he still calls me by my old name and um, by him pronouns, I can't be like, actually no, it's Z and it's she, her. I can't do that because he won't care. What about the people that do care, that kind of can't get it? Because I know I have a friend um, and she was a girl, but she transitioned to a boy. Mm -hmm. And I keep on her. She, that was like, she was a stud, but that was like my bro. Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay, I know that she is a he now, but it's like, I can't get that curve. She out of it. I keep calling her and she mm -hmm. and he saying he or him. Mm -hmm. How do you feel if that happens to you when somebody wants to get it right, but it comes out that way? Uh, I feel like it's more about like intent. And if you like, if you intentionally call me out of my name mm -hmm. and call me the person I'm not, then that's like harmful. But if you're actually truly trying to understand mm -hmm. and get used to it, yeah, like if you're trying to like, I feel like they try to like correct yourself after like all mm -hmm. the time into like, and then you like, okay, I see that you're you're understanding me, but you're just you know trying to understand about how to go on by. I get you, you know. Okay. Okay. Because of your age, I know people automatically think it's a phase. How do you feel about the word phase? Um, I feel like calling somebody, saying that somebody who wants to transition is going through a phase is very harmful. It's not only that one person, but it's harmful to the other trans women and other trans men, and just trans people in general who want to transition mm -hmm. because there are trans people out there who are getting killed and, you know, attacked, jumped, murdered. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite trans, like, idol you look up to? Um... Mm -hmm. Veneno. And, um... Veneno? I like Nikita Dragon. She's racist. For real? Yeah, she did a black face. I didn't know that. Um, um... I think she's cute, but she's bomb. That's what yeah, I, think. I didn't know she was trans at first. I had I worked. You had like you had a really double take, like right, okay, savage. And then um, probably India more. Okay, she's really pretty. Yeah, she's really pretty. I gotta show you one of my friends. I'm gonna my damn people because mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go as soon as we get off. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like people saying that it's a phase when there's trans people out there getting killed. Like realistically, nobody's gonna get themselves killed and risk their lives over a trend and over a phase because of the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. And if if people are doing that, then I feel like that calls for some actual like mental psychological help. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what you're talking about. Um. Okay, so we want to know, and the victims want to know. Where do you like to shop at? Cause I might need some tips. Cause mm -hmm. I know my girl Amy Joanna, she got the closet on deck. Make sure I go yeah. follow her. Where do you like to shop? Um, also another person who's been by my side forever. Um, personally I like to shop at, I don't really know, Shein. I know you're not supposed to support them. Why not? Because, okay, I'm about to say why not, whatever. Because of, I guess they have like children doing their, uh, work in the factories or something i don't know so i mean it's it's based in china so mm -hmm. um okay. i guess so what else um she and my friends if you were be if you were able to just like shop on your own terms and buy what you want to buy or girly clothes where would you shop like would be some place that you want to shop that you have not shopped yet have y'all been to little five points Yes, that's my spot. Have you? Me and baby go there all the time. Me and her go there all the time. Oh, wait, little five points. Yeah, little five points. And it's this little costume store they have there. It's so bomb. It's the first spot. It's the with the Caucasian people and all that over there, right? <laughs> no, it's like, um, it's like little stores. It's like a. Yeah, it's like little hillbilly stores. Yeah, little like, stores. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I would go down there to the Junk Man's Daughter to buy all my clothes. Because they have like all the clothes that I'm looking at online mm -hmm. that are like mad expensive. Have you ever heard of Pretty Blue Thing? Check them out. They mm -hmm. got some really dope stuff. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. Okay. Um, are you dating? Do you want to date? Yeah, you do. Right. Who doesn't want somebody? Right. <laughs> are you are you particular on race or does that not matter either? 
I know you didn't care. Like, you said gender, it didn't really matter, just love is love. But what about race? Are you. I don't think white people. <laughs> Neither. Not I don't either. Not the Mm-mm. You can't be oh, no European okay. no culture. Italian. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Gotcha. You have to be a, if you're if you are Spanish, you have to be a person of color. Like you have to, you have to be like black and Spanish. Right. <laughs> black and ease. I do got a question. Um, what about hood niggas? I know it's a little um, rough, but I don't know. I know you're 14, but I just have to talk to you like you're 21 because that's the only way I talk. So what about um, like masculine men? As long as like people of color. Right. <laughs> okay. 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 So, um, do you care about what people think? No. No. I know. You know. No, because uh, my dad always like tries to make like put in my head that I care what people think. Because I remember one time I had an argument with him about like trans people, or whatever. And he was like, you know, you keep saying, and you, you, I feel like you don't care about what other people think, but deep down you know that you don't. I mean, you know that you do. When in reality, he was so off, like so wrong, because if I cared about what people think, I wouldn't be talking the way I talk, I wouldn't be dressing the way I dress, I wouldn't be walking the way I walk. You wouldn't be so open. Right. Yeah. Like, just, just because you grew up, you know, insecure, doesn't mean that I will. Just because right. you care what people think doesn't mean that I will. Like, if I asked you to put on a, a pair, an outfit that I would wear, you would say no immediately because you care what people think. That just shows that I don't care what people think. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Just like um, Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union, I think that's really dope how yes. they let their daughter be who, they, who she wants to be as well. And they're very open to it. They're taking pictures with her. And and you just want to change her name. Yeah, you want to change her name at home, and I thought that was right. dope. And that yeah. could, that shows you that that. And how old is she? Um, how old is, what is her name? I don't know. What is her name? What's Dwayne Wade's daughter's name? Zaya. 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 Yeah, so I think that she's 14, 14 too. too. Yeah. Oh my God. But she has a, uh, she has a boyfriend too. She has a boyfriend and he's a, uh, but I think it's so, that just shows you just how they took their time with their daughter and actually sat down to get to know her and didn't judge her and they got to know her and they not her, just let her be her. Right. Do you, um, follow Zaya? Do you know who she is? You gotta look up Gabrielle, there. Gabrielle, um, you know daughter in law. She's 14. Well, he, she, he, he was, but she, she's a she. Yeah, she's a she, so she transitioned, she's 14. And you gotta look at her just so mm -hmm. you could, like, you know, yeah. get a little and it's idea of how she embraces herself. Because of, like, you know, famous people can kind of give their kids that, you know, and I'm sure it's not about the money, it's really they understand and they child mm -hmm. and they're giving their child the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Like, I really do wish your parents could come to the conclusion sooner than 18 to let you be you and be comfortable with you. But until then, then, just be you. I know God mommy let you be you mm -hmm. and be free when you're here and everything. And I know, you know it feels good, right? Yeah. It does, it does right? right? It's like a breath of fresh air mm -hmm. to come here, right? You can come here and be yourself and you ain't got to worry about nothing. She's always bragging about you. Trust mm -hmm. me. I, I know. Even before you, you did before. <laughs> so, That's what's up. Um, yes, guys. You got anything else you want to add? Yeah, I just want to like give a little closing words that for this video, it was just really for people to... Be you. Don't be afraid to be you. Don't be afraid to be the person you want to be because somebody else thinks a certain way. Live in your skin, live in your color, because we only have one life to live, and it's only we don't know when that life is gonna go. So we just gotta just stay true to ourselves and love on ourselves more. Embrace us, whatever you like to do. If you want to get your nails done every other week and your parents don't care, don't want you to get them done, get them nails done. Who cares? It's you. You have to live for you. So. Just live for you, be happy, self-care, self-love, love on yourself. And yes, what about you, Z? You got something to say? No, not really. Z ain't got nothing to say to y'all. So. <laughs> I do got something to say. For y'all parents out there that's letting not letting y'all child be dumb and be free, let them. It's 2022. It's innovation. A lot of things is changing. A lot of things are not the same back then when y'all was back then there. <laughs> so let these kids be dumb. Let them be free. Let them be comfortable. She is old enough to make her decision. Um, I think you old enough. How first of all, how old do you think you are to make that decision? Like, how do you? How old do you think you should be able to make that decision? Where you should know what you like. 
Um, any age. Any age. Yeah, because nobody knows you better than you. What's the youngest? For me to take, if I was a parent, for me to take my child serious, I feel like nine and eight, I would just, it depends on how you are. Nine and eight, I would just be, I would kind of kind of start wondering a little bit because if you're still carrying on the same thing you were doing three, four, five, six, and it's like, okay, you're eight now. Now you're 12 and it's still the same. So now you sit down and talk to my child to see what's going on. I just need to pick your brain to see what's going on so I can understand you as a person. So I say about 12, when 12, 13 puberty age is when I need to start sitting down talking to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a lot of, because firstly, a lot of trans people exhibit like, a trans woman exhibits female and you know womanly behavior at right. a young age, and so do trans men. When they're young, they ex they show they do masculine things, mm -hmm. and then being like you know seven, eight, nine, they don't know what it is. They just enjoy those things when right. they when they get like their phones, and when they get around other people like in middle school at like 12, 13, 14, mm -hmm. then I feel like they'd find out sooner right. or later. Mm -hmm. And if they come to you and tell you, then... Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end up with this story right here. So the fact that she said about eight or nine, I was nine years old when I first had my, yes, sexual relationship with a female. Yes, nine years old. I'm not telling y'all to do this when y'all nine years old, but I really feel like me being 32 years old right now, who knew I would have been a lesbian like in girls? Like, I was nine years old doing what I was doing. I never knew. So it was like, I think, and then when I, my mom had found out, I was like 15 or 16. So if she could have kind of told to me when I was 12 or 13, I probably would have never had to go straight to guys and feel like I had to do that because that's what it was. So parents, hear your kids out, please. 2022. Yeah, Period. definitely. Thank y'all for watching. I want to thank everybody. Thumbs this video up. All positivity, energy, no negative comments. This is my baby Z, so y'all better respect her. And respect Z, do you have a social media where they can find you at? Yeah. Okay, what's your social media? Yeah. Just I'll put that down in the description so y'all can follow Z. If y'all got any positive comments, y'all can leave Z in her inbox. No negative Z ain't going for that. We're not having that. But no definitely. Definitely give the video a thumbs up. Definitely tune in. Definitely give the victories some subscribers. Give us some views. And make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to watch your girl every Joanna. And watch our girl Q. And <laughs> stay up and stay blessed. We out of here.